Hello and welcome back to another Freddy's Allotment journey. Um, in today's episode it was a bit of a nightmare really because with um, my phone it's run out of storage and it's playing up and stuff. So all the footage that I've recorded we've lost unfortunately. Um, the things we've done in this episode though we done what well, we've done tomatoes, we've done them, pop pictures on the screen now. Um, we had a chat which it will be because we've got that footage now which will be next, and I hope you will enjoy that. Um, we do have that footage. What else did I do? I planted out my onions, which I'll uh, pop a little picture up now as well. I put blood, fish and bone on, and then I dug it in, give it a water, put the onions in. Um, uh, did we go in the greenhouse? No. Um, we also planted some bulbs in a pot, which are in my shed now. Uh, but, um, and that's about it. So I hope you enjoy this next clip of us having a little chat. Enjoy. Hello, now what we're going to do is a little chat of how the whole allotment started from the back garden to we had another allotment until we've ended up here. Um, so how did it start then? Lockdown. You, it'd just be great for you, obviously everyone that's watching now. Um, for you to show and explain like, obviously where you started what the plot looked like when you started but also what got you into it really uh, yeah so I think it was it was lockdown wasn't yeah. it yeah when you first got your yeah. greenhouse yeah little, little greenhouse. greenhouse pop a little picture up now Being a huge hobby wasn't it the yeah. one you used to blow across the garden when yeah. it had nothing in it yeah. go out there in the morning and pick it up Mm. Um, yeah, it started from there. Started growing some uh, bits and pieces. Yeah. What did you start in there? Corn. Uh, what was it? Corn. Corn. Remember, corn. It? Yeah. yeah. In the, <laughs> in the plastic up. tub that had That's my rolls in it, so I got all waterlogged, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Started yeah. that, and you grew some tomatoes in there, didn't you? Which I don't think the first year you. Quite I didn't sucked. get any. You didn't get anything. I mean, that year everyone you know, they said they all got flight, so they didn't get a single tomato either. Oh, right. So I don't know if it was that. But that was your first, that's the first thing that got yeah. you into it. And we thought, to be honest, like, Freddie's dead. <laughs> um, Mum and Dad thought it was going to be a bit of a bit of a thing that he was going to sort of try and, and give up. But you uh, took to it, um, enjoyed it, mm. started growing some different bits and pieces. Like I said, the corn come up yeah. outside. Um, and it's just gone on from there. Um, we have been on the waiting list, haven't we, yeah. for this for a while. And then... We uh we done like an Easter egg hunt, didn't we? Um, oh yeah, that was yeah, the other uh, place. Yeah, we had love, another little wild allotment. Um, yeah. Which was which was really run down. It had like, like six foot brambles. Yeah, you know, people sorts. didn't yeah. take it for like seven years, didn't they? No. They said. So we did try that one, but it's a, this, that was a that was a drive as well. Whereas this one's a walk yeah. from our house. Um, so Freddie can sort of walk down on his own, mm. work on his allotment, hence the videos, um, mm. and doing his own bit. Um, yeah, no, this so, is this will yeah. come up and um, we had a little when you had this one there then April 2021. But when we got in April, um, where my shed is now and down to here, it was actually all potatoes, weren't it? Someone put in some potatoes, yeah, yeah, potatoes and then yeah. it was all like four foot high grass, weren't yeah, it? Yeah, which yeah. I'll pop a little picture on now. And some pictures up, yeah, uh, yeah, it was all like what was it long grass, they called it, it was, long yeah, grass. long grass or something. That was back breaking. All that out. Yeah, and then we dug a little bit out, didn't we? We put two raised beds in. I remember the left one had onions and tomatoes in, which is that one there, which we put in lettuces in this year, one in front we of my found, shed. Found some old rakes and old shovels and bits and pieces. Did, didn't in we? The yeah. <laughs> They've been left by the old owner. Um, um, and then yeah, we sort of put the tomatoes in and left it, didn't we? We didn't come down for the rest of the year. No, it's. Um, it was, uh, took quite a bit of work. Yeah, to and then out. till December, we actually came down again, didn't we? Dug the whole bit out. I've got a proper little picture up now of uh, bit, the big pile of weeds that it was. Yeah. Chucked most of them on the fire, didn't we? Yeah, that was that vine ridge, is it? Vine ridge, yeah, that was a nightmare, yeah. wasn't it? By the way, I'm, I'm learning from Freddie. <laughs> um, Freddie's uh, took to it really well, and there's a lot of things I'm learning from him that he's... You know, the, the, the people on this plot and the allotment sort of helping Freddie along with it, and we're all sort of learning it together, which is, I suppose, which is all part of the fun, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, working it out, some things have worked, some things haven't. Um, we had some lovely strawberries last year and some tomatoes, so yeah. 
this year's going to be even better. Um, yeah. So we're hoping to get some, oh, yeah, soil. some compost soil yeah. down here soon. Um, some and also, what have we learned today? A, a pack of poo, wasn't a it? A pack of poo. Have you heard of it? No, a I didn't pack actually. Poo. Apparently, really good. Yeah. For your, uh, they said also, the guy said, go right, straight on the, straight on to the Yeah, bed. just straight on. You don't have to let it rot down for a couple of years. Like, a pack of poo can just go straight on. Yeah. Which was actually quite surprising. I thought every manure would have to rot down. Yeah, so apparently, yeah. It's, um, they're not so yeah. good in. in uh, uh, hanging baskets. Hanging baskets, that was it. Too powerful, isn't it? Um, well, maybe you don't do so much then. Yeah, it maybe be a bit little overwhelming, mix. Overwhelming, maybe yeah. for the plants, but. Um, yeah. So once we put all the beds in, didn't we? And. Yeah, a bit of timber from work. Obviously, as you've probably seen, a bit of leftover timber from work now and again that I bring home. Um, we build up the beds with um, all different bits and pieces. Yeah, um, and then we put the saw in, didn't we? We made the um, nets, didn't we? Yeah, then we started on the shed. Didn't we? The shed. But the shed it was all built from like leftover timber. Yeah. Um, and, like old bits of timber. The only thing we spent on it was um, away. the cladding, wasn't it? Yeah. That's the only thing we bought for it was just the cladding. Yeah. yeah. Like cladding. Um, so mm. that's, that, that, that was. At first, I thought the window would be too big, but I, I like the big window. I love it. Yeah. I wish I was, it was bigger actually. That was just a piece of glass that was yeah. lift, lift the job, so we just used that. And yeah. We built it in the garage first. Yeah. Didn't we? We built the whole thing up in the garage. I don't know if we have got some them. pictures. I think we do. If, if Yeah, I don't know. We'll have a little look later. But if we do, I'll put yeah. one up now. That'd be good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's just... Well, it's there. Obviously, Freddie likes to keep himself busy mm -hmm. with everything he does down here. Um, we're obviously incredibly, incredibly proud of uh, <laughs> what he's doing mm. and and how he's coming along. Mm. Um, I'm very much excited to see everything grow this year um, and obviously all the bits and pieces we're doing um, yeah, we're but hoping to get another little plot yeah. up there as well a bit yeah. further up but that's that's fingers crossed if it does come up if mm. it doesn't it doesn't matter let me um, just go do the teas take that right. you, do do you love a tea don't yeah. you I ain't sitting here talking to myself you're mad well maybe I am then <laughs> um yeah, like obviously, mum and dad, um, very proud of what, what he's doing. And Freddie tried everything, you know, he tried the, the whole cricket, he tried the football, tried all the sort of general stuff that kids do. Um, and this was just his little niece that he, he really enjoyed. He, he enjoyed his own time away from everything, um, doing his own sort of, his own bit down here. He's very hands-on, as you've obviously seen. Um, he works hard. And... I suppose it's very easy. I was talking to someone at work about this. It's very easy to put kids of his age in the same sort of bubble of PlayStations, Xboxes, and not doing a lot, you know. But there is kids out there like Freddie that do generally enjoy getting hands on. And I suppose it's it's about giving them the opportunity to to come to light, to to, to show what they can do, you know. And um, I think a lot of parents, obviously. Also ourselves in the past have said, no, no, you're not doing that, you know, whether that's from a selfish point of view or whether, you know, we, we thought we might be a bit too busy. But this obviously was just started through through lockdown, um, through COVID, um, Freddie sort of took an interest in it and it's sort of gone on from there really. So incredibly proud um, of where Freddie's got to and, and also we are excited to see where this goes and what crops we get this year. I mean, last year we had some lovely crops. We had some parsnips, carrots, some tomatoes, um, some herbs, bits and pieces. Thanks, Fred. He does love a tea. Hey, he does love a tea. Um, yeah, no, it's... Uh, then we had... Um, oh, yeah. He's shown them the... Um, the oh, greenhouse. The greenhouse yeah. You're showing them the greenhouse. We started that, what, September last year? Something else Freddie had a great idea about. Once Freddie gets something in his head, he's going for it. Anyway, it was first right? a polytunnel, weren't it? Oh, it was a polytunnel, but we do have a few fires down here. Like, um, yeah. People yeah. in a lot of like a fire, so maybe we thought that's not, sparks not a great idea. Um, so we looked at some greenhouses. Freddie started getting on the old... Uh, was it Marketplace and yeah, sort of like place. eBay and that sort yeah. of places looking... Looking for somewhere. Um, got a great deal of 
Marketplace, didn't we? Marketplace, yeah, we found someone not too far away that was getting rid. Um, went down there, stripped it all down, cleaned it down. You washed, you washed all the frame down as well, didn't you? Yeah. We washed cool. the glass down as we put it in, which was great. Um, and yeah, built the base, which I'm sure you put some pictures up of that. Are you going to yeah. put some pictures up? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you dug it all out yourself again. Yeah. Yeah. You worked hard doing that. We put some uh, bit of concrete down, some bricks around. Yeah, even like when some people came down and saw it, they thought it was brand new. Yeah, did yeah. they? Well, it looked brand new by the yeah. time you cleaned it out and that. But I didn't realise just how how easy they are to put, put together and yeah. take apart. But um, so this will be your first year on first the on the year. Your first year on the greenhouse, like yeah. through the season, through um, spring, should I say? Yeah. But you got your greenhouse, which is great. So you can get some good starters in there. Let's see what comes along in there. Um, also, Freddie's had a good idea with the raised beds at home. We've got some raised beds that we're gonna. I'm gonna finish off first. Um, put some sand and cement on them, and then Freddie's gonna do some planting areas in there. Mm. It was uh, make a, a sort of garden, which was kids-friendly garden, a bit more sort of like adult-based, mm. a bit more greenery, eh? A bit more. It'd be nice to see some plants in there. And my mum does love some daffodils and mm. spring plants and bulbs, so. Be nice to see that come along. Yeah. But um, but yeah, no, it's uh, you're doing all right. You've built yourself a little fence here. Mm. Every time I come down here, you've done something. You keep mm. changing things. Remember when you came down and stripped the old shed out, didn't I? Put the paneling up on yeah. the inside. You still got those hobs. That yeah, hob. Yeah, the hob from Richard's. In the greenhouse. Yeah. Is it in there? Yeah, it's That'd in be the nice. Let's see how that comes. It's a nice hob. We're gonna put that. What are we gonna put it over now? Uh, we could put it over the shed or. Over yeah, put it maybe put it over the shed. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, isn't it? So that's nice. Um, yeah, you're doing all right. We've got the other little piece area up there. You've yeah. done a video on that, haven't you? Which we've got to top up. We need to get some topsoil for that. Yeah, especially with the new strawberry plant, aren't we? We've got to put uh, legs on that. Yeah. It's oh, the, the box. The box come from work. Um, which has seen seems too 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 good to throw in a skip. Mm, so yeah, no, we're gonna make a like a strawberry box out of it, maybe. But obviously he's got a lid to it already, but we're going to cut the sort of the ply yeah. out and make a mesh top to it. Mm. Yeah, mm. we can just fix that on top. Mm. So um, we've got an exciting year ahead. Mm. Some great things. Anything you're trying new this year? Um, uh, well, carrots and parsnips. We've got actually box planters for them rather than just putting them in a raised bed, didn't we? Oh yeah. Yeah, they wasn't growing. Oh, they grew well they last grew year. Ones, didn't they? But I think they could have done a little bit better with a bit more room. Yeah. Especially the way you like to spread a seed. You forgot to pick them. We did have quite a few skinny ones, didn't we? They're all a bit too close together. So we're gonna. What do you call it? You pricking them out. Pricking them out. Yeah. Sort of filling them out. So that'd be good. Um, right. Is that everything? I think. Um, are you doing? Any more videos on anything else? Mm. In a minute. Just today. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe we should do this like once a month. We'll have a little chat yeah. and get together. Yeah. We can see where you're at. Yeah. Have a little chat about. We see what everyone else says. I mean, obviously, very grateful everyone subscribing. Yeah. Um, we uh, up to 400 now too. Nearly 400. That's mm. amazing. Mm. Um, also, anyone input because obviously you're still learning. You're going to learn a lot through the way. Obviously. Um, Danny. Yeah, Danny's mentioned me. That's in the great. Video. Thank you, Danny. I need to pop an email back to you. Uh, I must get round to that. But yeah, it's uh, getting a bit of interest, which is great. Um, it'd be nice to sort of like inspire some other younger yeah. kids your sort of age um, to sort of just do it. You know, you have got nothing to lose. Just have a go, and then ju but just seeing things grow from nothing from a kid is just amazing, isn't it? Like from nothing, you grew that yourself. You can just do it for free, can't you? Yeah, it's just, just for free, you know. Find a little spot, get a fork, dig it up, and take it, just put stuff yeah. straight in there now. Even if like you buy one of those like tomato bags things and you just start yeah. growing some we tomatoes. Done them, we done them in the garden, didn't we? Yeah. The tomatoes and the tomato bags. That's what you started, wasn't That's it? Yeah. Started. Just 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 yeah. to get their interest in it and. And just to show where I mean, I think you appreciate you appreciate food more as well, don't you? Like mm. on the table, you appreciate like what's on your table and what you're eating because you understand just the effort it's gone through um, to grow it, yeah. but also like the difference in the growing your own food. The taste is just amazing. The tomatoes. Mm. Oh.
what a tomato Sorry. actually tastes like, not not the watery rubbish that you get from the supermarket, you know. Um, well, we do love a parsnip, don't we? Yeah. Honey roasted parsnip. Um, Alright, yeah. anyways, thanks a lot for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment of what your favourite bit of the video is, and I'll see you next week. Mama T.